Hello, I am Marie Antoinette, and I was born on November 2nd, 1755, in Vienna, Austria. I was the youngest of 15 kids. I had lots of brothers and sisters. I was born the prince, the princess of Austria. When I was only 10 years old, my father died. It was very sad for my family and I, and most of Austria. I was my mother's favorite child. When I was only 14 years old, she sent me to France to marry the king the king's son. And still at the age of 14, I married Prince Louis the 16th. In 1774, the king of France died, so Louis and I were declared king and queen of France. Still, when I was very young, I was only 18 years old when I became queen. I was not ready or I was not ready to become queen because I was not mature enough and I was not old enough. I had also I had no interest at all in the in the political part of being queen. When the French Revolution started, I was not thrilled at all. I didn't want to lose my position of being queen of France. I gained all my power from being born into a royal family and marrying King Louis the Sixteenth. Some people say I had no political power at all or official role, other than, of course, being queen. I honestly didn't care much about the political part of being queen. All I wanted to do was actually be queen. I tried to help the poor people of France, but there was just way too many of them to help, so when I did try to help, it seemed like I did nothing because there was just too many of them. Many people hated me because I said I did nothing to help France. Or, I did nothing at all, other than, of course, gamble, eat, spend money on expensive dresses, amazing hairdos, entertainment, and money on my friends. But that's not true. I tried to help. There was just too many people to help, so it seemed like I did nothing. One of the causes of the French Revolution was that my husband tried to tax everyone equally, whether they were the richest person in France or the poorest person in France. Another cause of the French Revolution was the idea of enlightenment and that everyone should be treated equally and have all equal rights. I really wish that my husband did not try to tax everyone equally because if he didn't, maybe the French Revolution would have never started and maybe we could still be king and queen of France and live in the palace. I would say that my legacy of being Marie Antoinette would be born an Austrian princess and then becoming the Queen of France. I will also be known for being the last Queen of France, considering after Louis and I were King and Queen, there was no more King and Queen of any King and Queen of France. Also, I was very disliked. I think that I will also be remembered for that. The end of my life was very sad. My family and I were kicked out of the palace and were told and Louis and I were told that we were no longer king and queen. In 1792, my husband, the king of France, King Louis the 16th, was guillotined, my own husband. The people of France killed my only living son and separated me from my daughter and my sister-in-law. It was so sad. And then finally, in seven, on October 16th, 1793, I died. I was only 38 years old when I died, a very young age, or dying. After I died, people, the people of France put me under the guillotine. I was already dead, yet they still chopped off my head. My body was placed on the grass in the center of France for many, many days. And then finally, they decided me to put, into, put me into a grave, yet my gravestone was unnamed so no one knew who I was and knew that I was under that green stone. Very unfair. Goodbye, I am Marie Antoinette, the last queen of France.